All right, everybody, we're going to talk about regular expressions. Uh, regular expressions are primarily used for form validation, and what they're doing is um, we're using them to find certain characters in a string. So let's just run through the example that I have. Um, I have this string, and it says, JavaScript is not Java or script. JavaScript is a language in its own right. Um, the reason why we're using this example is because a lot of people put a space in between JavaScript and it's actually one word. So we're going to use regular expressions to fix that, right? Um, I have the second variable. This forward slash right here is the beginning of my regular expression and this is the end of my regular expression. Um, inside of that I have Java and then I have backslash s and then I have script, right? Uh, what the backslash s is doing is it's denoting uh, any white space. So it's removing any white space. Uh, anytime it finds white space there, it's going to remove it. Um, then I have I, which at the end indicates that this expression is not case sensitive. Um, and then I have G, which means global, and it's saying basically every instance. Um, below that, I have console.log text.replace regex JavaScript. So what this is basically going to do is it's going to autocorrect. So you know when you try to send a text to your friend and you're like, hey dude, I love you, you're the best friend ever, but instead it autocorrects and says, hey dude, I hate you so much, go die. Um, that's pretty similar to what this is doing. So let's take a look. So I have console.log, it found the white space in JavaScript and replaced it, right? So it's essentially autocorrecting. Um, after that, we have email validating, right? Um, let's see. I created this function called validate email, and then I have a variable. It's taking in the user input, um, and then I have a second variable variable called regex. Um, we have our opening of the regular expression and the closing of the regular expression, and all of this stuff in between is doing something. So this is matching the beginning of the stringer line. Um, inside of these brackets, this is saying that all of these characters are acceptable, right? So this would be like the first part of your email. But then we're saying you also need, after that, an at symbol, because every email has an at, and then some more, some more characters, which would be would be accepted as valid, and then after that, more characters, right? Um, meaning .com, and yeah. Then we have two to five. This is saying a minimum of two to five characters. That's what that's saying. Um, and then we said console.log, regex.test. Um, so let's see if this is working. Um, I come in, if I type in randomness and click, it says false, right? This is not a, get out of here. That's not an email address, dude. Give us the goods, right? So if I type in Isaac at codifyacademy.com, true, it's accepting it as a valid email. So this first part, Isaac, right? That's this. That's this right here, okay? Then we have the at symbol right here. Then after that, we have this second bracket that is the codify academy and then this last one is saying dot com at codifyacademy.com right um, so it all works out it validates um, very useful this is this is what regular expressions are so definitely need to know how to use it because most websites have an email validator you don't necessarily have to memorize every single character though as long as you know how to use it I think that's the main that's the main point so I hope this helped. Um, definitely get yourself acquainted with regular expressions and reach out to your mentor if you have any questions.